hello hello and I hope you are, you are fine I'm not sure what's happening today with technology but I hope wherever you are you are fine I am fine it's a beautiful today the Sun is shining welcome my name is Winnie Kamuya CEO International Renaissance Center an international best-selling author a speaker and a coach welcome I hope that the crisis are pushing you out to some place where you feel that you need to grow. My question to you is, is the current crisis shattering your glass ceiling? You might say, and many will say, I don't have a glass ceiling, but I want to believe that as you go through this crisis, something is happening in your life and you are shattering a glass ceiling that you could be having or that you could have set for yourself. Have you set any glass ceiling to your life? Do you have any glass ceiling? If you don't have, lucky you, because not everyone is lucky like you. When I wrote my book, Shatter Your Glass Ceiling, a book whereby most people would say it's for women. It's the women with the glass ceiling. I'm not sure about that because I know we all have a glass ceiling that is set for ourselves. I think it is in times like this that we are pushed to a place which is very uncomfortable and during that push we are forced to go into learning into growing it is during time like this when seeking clarity when seeking for security and assurance when you are in that fearful mode you let go and somehow because there is a God if you believe in God or if you believe in the person you believe in, they take over. That time, you learn and you come to discover things that you didn't know about yourself and your potential. I want to read for you something that I wrote on page 10. The great Supreme Court Justice Oliver Wendell Holmes once said, there are three types of people. The people who make things happen, the people who watch what's happening, and the people who haven't the slightest idea what's happening. Where do you fit in those groups of people? It is happening. The crisis is here. We do not know how long it's going to take and when we shall be back to our normal life. And in the meantime, we have to cope. And in the meantime, we are learning. In the meantime, we are discovering ourselves because we are pushed to some limits where we discover more about ourselves and that's where shattering your glass ceiling is happening. Are you going to allow that to happen or are you going to remain watching what is happening? That is the second group of people, the people who watch what's happening. Or are you going to be among the people who, have, who haven't the slightest idea of what is happening? I believe you know what is happening and I want to encourage you not to be in the group whereby you are not doing anything during this time and you are held by fear and you are stuck because I said one thing about fear. Fear keeps us safe. Now, it is good to be safe during this time and while we are still keeping safe, it is good to learn more about ourselves because that is what will push us to another level of ourselves, to the best version of yourself. I know and I believe you want to be better than you were. I know you want to be 
better than you were in 2019 despite the crisis. What are you learning? What are you discovering about yourself? Because it is in crisis that you will discover things that you never knew about yourself. Maybe it was meant for you to learn more about yourself. Are you learning? And if you are not learning, what are you doing? Have you let fear hold you back or let you feel you're stuck? I know you can get stuck and you can choose to be stuck. What are you choosing? Because the choices you make today are the choices that will affect you in the future. And remember, choices have got consequences. Keep learning. Keep learning. Keep growing. Yes, all of us don't know anything. And all of us are anxious. And all of us are required to have faith and to believe that it will be over. And soon, when it is over, we are supposed to be ready for the next season. Will you be ready or will it find you? Still stuck, wondering what is happening? I don't want to be in that position. And I believe because God has given you the grace to overcome situation and God has given everyone grace, you will overcome. If you believe and if you keep growing and if you keep looking out and ensuring as you keep others safe, you are keeping yourself growing and you're becoming better than you were yesterday because every day presents an opportunity for you to learn, for you to grow, for you to become better. Use this time to become better as you learn new ways of working, new ways of relating new ways of being productive. Keep in mind, these ways have always been there, but maybe we ignored them for some time. I believe using that, you can push yourself to get to learn something new. And I'm sure in the next season, you will say, had it not been for this crisis, I would not have learned how to be productive by myself. Had it not been for this crisis, I would never have learned to be at peace by myself. Because for some people, we are not at peace by ourselves. And as a leader, you have to remember that leadership starts by leading yourself. So start by having peace by yourself. That peace is what you require. Because the people who follow you, they need to get inspired by the peace you have. If you're not having peace by your own self, how do you expect your followers to get peace? They have to learn from you. So, this time is giving you some opportunity to learn to be by yourself and to be so happy by yourself. To actually love you more than you ever loved yourself. And if you are within a family setting, then the opportunity to get to know your family set up, your family members, to appreciate them. Because you are going to be with them for some time. They are going to irritate you. And while they irritate you, you are going to learn more about them. And more so, more about yourself. Are you patient? Do you listen? Because whatever they will be teaching you, that is exactly what you need to know because that's exactly how you've been behaving in the office. So if you don't have patience, if you don't listen, then it is time to reflect. If I'm not listening to my children, do I listen to the people in the office? Do I listen to my colleagues? Oh, I always make sure they have to listen to me. When do I take time to listen to them? This time, you are going to grow. And while growing, 
you are going to shatter a glass ceiling that you set for yourself. You didn't know, but you have time. If you are paying attention, and if you are keeping present, you will notice those moments. This is not something somebody will tell you. It is here. It is for you to be present. Because when you are present, you will notice those things. If you don't stay present, you will miss them. I said, it is not something somebody will tell you. It is something you will notice by your own self, by being present. So are you present as you stay and work around your family? Are you present as you learn to work with people in isolation? Are you present to your own self and your needs, your, your stress, your challenges? Are you present to the ability to actually your potential to grow? That's my question. When I was writing this book, I wrote this book because I thought having gone through my fear of leading, it could help others. And I dedicate I dedicated the book to my readers because I believed they had a glass ceiling that set for themselves. Even though when I, I was writing it, I didn't know a time like this would come. However, you can never tell what is ahead. Your job is to adopt and to accept let go what you can't control. So, I want to encourage you to know that even though you could have set a glass ceiling for yourself, you are going to be pushed to a place where you'll be forced to grow and when you are growing, you'll be forced to shatter that glass ceiling. Remain present or be present and notice the moment. And when it happens, I want to ask you to celebrate because one of the things that we are not good at is celebrating when we've shattered a glass ceiling. So, this time, while going through the crisis, grow, pay attention, be present, and celebrate any glass ceiling or any limitation you put on your life because it is an opportunity that will never come again with that said i want to say to you now is the time and this is your time grow and be the best you can be i believe in you and god believes in you together we shall overcome together it shall be over because every season must come to an end. If you have comments and feedback, feel free to note them down below and share the video if it helps you. And remember, you can do it. It's your time. Goodbye.